Hi, I'm Shelly. And I'm Bob, better known as Bobby Stafford. My name is Tony Dorr, and I've gone here to New Life Church for 23 years now. So, my name is Sandy Jasmer. I've been here 23 years. Hi, I'm VJ Altergott. I'm Tom Altergott. Uh, we've been attending New Life Church, I'd say, just just about three years. My name's David Pope, and I've been coming to New Life Church for almost eight years now. Hi, my name is Rachel Rupert. I've been going to New Life Center since I was a little girl. We've been at New Life Church since April of 2022. And we have enjoyed every moment of it. Yes. I've been a part of life groups for pretty much my entire Christian life. There were times in my walk where I really felt like church was happening in life groups instead of actually on Sunday morning where that's where I was getting fed that's where I was getting um, building relationships we wanted to be involved we wanted to um, really uh, insert ourselves into the into the body and, and and get to know people and enjoy the relationships and enjoy the fellowship I've been part of life groups before at our church and even at other ones during college. Um, it helps me stay connected. Not only did it give me the opportunity to fellowship uh, with other Christians and other people in, in various walks of their faith, um, but it also just grew new friendships and relationships that I never dreamed in a million years I would have. Uh, it's been such a blessing in my life and I've learned so much. When we were in the life group, it really gave us a chance to meet people one-on-one, -on -one, uh, to have a real good fellowship, uh, get to know one another, and become friends, and really develop a true Christian love for those people in the body. It was very rewarding. I feel you should be a part of a life group so that you can be connected with the body, so that you don't feel like you're standing alone and that you have people standing beside you to help you through difficult times, to be there to share happy times. Being involved in life groups is very important because it is easy. I was gonna, I'm gonna take my mom's answer too because she was saying the same thing where it's easy, you just wanna stay home. Like they have a new term for it, the goblin mode and I really just wanna be a little goblin. But um, I know I am an image bearer and need to be, need to be with community. I think that connection is really just, it helps solidify and grow your faith. Um, it helps build your faith and just allows you to strengthen your faith. So there's like multiple layers there um, all wrapped into one great little package. I am so excited. We are so excited. Yes, we are. Uh, we are hosting Friday Night Life Groups in our home. Uh, Friday nights at 6.30 p.m. and it is called Fellowship for the Soul and it is going to be based on friendship, fellowship, food, and prayer. Uh, in our life group, people can expect a lot of laughter, <laughs> hopefully good food, and then I really want to focus at the end of the life, the end of the evening, I really want to focus on prayer, prayer for requests, praying for each other and just feeling the Holy Spirit over us as we finish the work week. We are learning out of the book, The Jesus Creed by Scott McKnight. We've already been in the first two parts of the book, so we'll be on the last half of the study starting in winter. This book teaches is there are people in the scriptures that were called in times of their life that really interrupted things and how did they how did they live that life out when God calls us how do we live that life out what does it look like our life group will meet on Wednesday nights at 6 30 here at the church so the life group I'll be leading is for women and um, I'm going to it's going to be part of the Bible project series uh, on the character of God so the life group will be meeting on Tuesdays at my house and the address will be in all of the documentation and um, I think we're going to be doing 630. People can expect when they come to um, our life group which is called Faith Builders, um, they can expect to have a relaxed, um, faith-filled environment where we can come together in fellowship um, and in prayer 
and um, have some great discussions about uh, our walks and hopefully encourage each other, um, have some great food, um, and just, just have some, some really great uh, time together and hopefully connect with each other and get to know each other better if we haven't already had that opportunity with an emphasis on having it be spirit led. So not so much, oh, we're, you know, we're not gonna necessarily have a book or a specific, um, you know, curriculum per se, but each week we will have a topic of discussion. We'll, it, you know, we'll have some, um, some great opportunities to just share testimonies, pray together. We'll be meeting at our home in West Eugene on Tuesday nights at 6.30. The life group that I'm leading is going to be primarily focused for the men of the church. Uh, in the Bible it says that we are the ministers of Christ and the stewards of the mysteries of God. So I've called the, uh, the group Men of Mystery. And we are going to focus on studying the Word. We're going to focus on spiritual giftings. And we're going to focus on what it really means to be a man of God becoming a man of God in this troubling world that we live in now. So each week as we come together, we're going to have a focused lesson each week. We're going to focus on uh, a particular topic for that week. Then after the lesson, then we will have an open for discussion, question and answer time, and then we'll have an open forum discussion. I don't feel that I have all the answers, and I feel that in the group setting, we come to learn with one another. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 3, it says that in Christ are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So please, come and join me on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 as we embark on a divine treasure hunt. So our life group um, is really mostly about the fellowship and um, just encouraging each other we focus on fellowship and prayer, and if prayer goes long, sometimes we don't get to the Bible, um, but that's okay, that's the way God is leading us. So, um, we're a group of women of really diverse ages, from younger women all the way up to older women, and I think that that mix is really good for, for believers of all ages, to be able to meet with people of different ages, um, we meet, uh, this is the women's Bible study that meets Monday morning at 10 a.m. in the coffee shop. So I really hope to see you there.